Welcome in everybody to the KC Sports Report. I'm your host Michael Darcy and today I'm joined by Michael Hepner and we're going to break down the Super Bowl 54 matchup between the San Francisco 49ers and your Kansas City Chiefs. Chiefs Kingdom, your Kansas City Chiefs beat the San Francisco 49ers in Super Bowl 54 by a final score of 31 to 20 and they bring the Lombardi Trophy back to Kansas City. Wow, Chiefs Kingdom, this is an incredible moment, and we got to see it. We got to see our Kansas City Chiefs win another Super Bowl. I mean, 50 years of heartache, 50 years of frustration, that is all over. And we're looking at the start of a new dynasty, because I truly believe that we have all the pieces to contend for a lot more Super Bowls in the future. But Michael, this game had a lot of ups and downs, and quite honestly... The first three quarters were not very good for the Chiefs. In fact, they only put up 10 points, which was a season low in the first three quarters. But when Patrick Mahomes was called upon to make plays, what did he do? He made plays, and he led the Chiefs back in a fourth quarter comeback. So what is your thoughts on this game, and why do you think the Chiefs were able to win when really they did not play like it the first three quarters? I think a lot of it had to do with some somewhat questionable coaching decisions by Shanahan, but at the same time, um, the Chiefs were able to take advantage of it. So there there was a, I believe it was the end of the first quarter when I I believe it was the uh, general manager of the 49ers who was kind of like signaling to Shanahan, take a timeout, take a timeout, why aren't you taking a timeout? Um, And that kind of cost them, I think, an opportunity to at least get a field goal, which would have given them, you know, some sort of confidence going into the second half. And then, you know, something just happened in the fourth quarter where they weren't able to do anything on offense and the Chiefs just took advantage of it. They said, okay, well, we're going to get a stop on defense and if you're not going to do anything about it, then, you know, we're, we're, we're here. We're going to take advantage. And, you know, yeah. I give so much credit to this Chiefs defense because when they needed to make a stop, they made a stop. And honestly... The Chiefs won this game because Patrick Mahomes was great in the last few minutes, but also the defense really stepped up. And you could even go as far to say that the defense won this game because in the NFC Championship game, Raheem Mostert ran all over the 49ers. And he almost didn't have an impact on this game because the Chiefs' defense really minimalized the 49ers' running game. And I kind of think that's why... Kyle Shanahan got out of his game plan to run the ball because I think that if they would have ran the ball, the Chiefs would not have won this game. But the defense was able to get to Jimmy Garoppolo in the fourth quarter and make him uncomfortable. And they were able to force some three and outs. And ultimately, I think that's why the Chiefs offense was able to be so successful is because they saw this Chiefs defense stepping up and they just had to match it. So I think the offense was great, but Ultimately, I mean, hats off to this Chiefs defense. Yeah, I mean, the defense struggled, in my opinion. I mean, they, they did well stopping the run for the most part. There, there were obviously a few that got away. and They were very large runs. Um, well, I mean, but, it's just the bend but don't break. And, you know, I think the turning point for this Chiefs defense was the Tyron Matthew pep talk. We can, we can say pep talk in quotations because he was basically – yelling, cursing, screaming over at his guys on the sideline to basically start playing some good defense. And he actually had to get separated by Steve Spagnolo. So he was fired up, and I think that translated into a defense that was motivated to get stops. But I think the turning point on offense was the 3rd and 15 throw to Tyreek Hill. Patrick Mahomes dropped back into the pocket, got hit by a defender, threw it way down the field, Tyreek Hill caught it at the 20, and it set the Chiefs up in the red zone. And from that point on, I thought the Chiefs were going to win that game. Because when Patrick Mahomes gets in these zones, nobody, and I mean nobody, can break him. So, I mean, that really is the biggest play of the Super Bowl, at least in my opinion. Yeah, and I mean, there were definitely um, other plays by other people that, like, Damian Williams had, I think, one of his best games this year. Um, he turned a couple plays that were really going to be either lost for yards or no yardage at all and turned them into either first downs or gained some yardage that 
would have been lost, which was nice. And then to cap it off with that touchdown run to basically seal the deal. See, and you were very like, well. oh, the game's over. You were texting me. I was like, well, oh, the clock hasn't nice. hit zero yet. And I've seen this Chiefs team lose a few games and there's just too much time left. So, I mean, you were confident, but the Kendall Fuller interception was, in my mind, what sealed the deal. But the touchdown was basically what said, we're not going to lose this game. Well, the thing, too, is why I was pretty confident it was done is uh, Jimmy Garoppolo is not going to get you back with two minutes and score 14 points. Like, he's not, especially against the Chiefs defense this year. It's not going to happen. So Well, Jimmy G took a shot deep, uh, but he overthrew his receiver. And if he makes that throw, the Chiefs might not have won because the 49ers would have been up by three, I believe, and the Chiefs would have had to march down the field and score. And with that defense, that probably would have some extra motivation. I mean, who knows? But luckily, we didn't have to think that far. Yeah, and I mean, definitely the uh, 49ers almost went down and scored a touchdown, but the interception by Fuller capped it off. But uh, that defense really presented problems for the Chiefs, and it was kind of scary throughout the entire game because they just couldn't block any of the defensive ends and linemen. And I mean, they did a fairly decent job, but it was I just bad. Felt like Mahomes was rushed for the first three quarters, and it wasn't until the fourth quarter that they got tired. See, and part of that you could blame you know. on uh, just why Patrick Mahomes is struggling. I mean, Nick Bosa was all over him. He got sacked a few times, and Nick Bosa actually had a strip sack that luckily Patrick Mahomes fell on top of because if not, we could be talking about a completely different story. But once Patrick Mahomes got that time, I think that Nick Bosa and D. Ford and DeForest Buckner, they got a little bit tired because they were constantly chasing Mahomes. And when they got tired, Mahomes had that little bit of extra time. And if you give Mahomes that extra second, he's going to make it hurt. So ultimately, I mean, Patrick Mahomes' greatness was on display. But I think that the defense did something that nobody else believed they could. I was very vocal in saying that this Chiefs defense was completely different. I thought that they were good enough to stop the run and contain the 49ers offense. But the national media was so much against them that I almost started believing what they were saying. But guess what? Tyron Matthew and Frank Clark and Terrell Suggs and the faces of this Chiefs defense stepped up in a huge way. And ultimately, I think that they had a huge part in saying that we're Super Bowl champions. Yeah, and I mean, the defense didn't play their best. I mean, I, they played better this season. And I think a lot of it mostly had to do with they were willing to finish the game and the 49ers just weren't. You know, the Chiefs were willing to play to the end, fight to the death, and the 49ers just kind of gave up. So, Well, and here's the thing. I knew that the 49ers secondary could not match the Chiefs' speed. And eventually, Richard Sherman is going to lose some coverages. And when Tyree Kill and Sammy Watkins get out into the open field with space around them, I mean, there's nothing you can do about that. So I knew that the 49ers secondary could not stop the Chiefs' receivers for four quarters. Yeah, and I mean, Sherman was old, so putting him against Hill wasn't going to easily... It, I mean, it wasn't going to be a huge challenge, and uh, there, there was a play he kind of got smoked on by Hill, which was kind of funny to watch. But, yeah, I mean, it, it was a tough-fought win that obviously didn't go the way I think anyone wanted it to, but at the same time, is hey, you came out with the win, so. That's all that matters. It. At the end of the day, the Chiefs are Super Bowl 54 champions, so, I mean, Chiefs Kingdom, I am so happy for Patrick Mahomes because his legacy of greatness has started. Andy Reid finally won a ring, and this Chiefs team as a whole brought back a Super Bowl trophy that this city has been hungry for for the last 50 years. And finally, I get so much pride out of saying that this team is Super Bowl 54 champions because I have covered this team since training camp of last year. And just to see this journey, to see everything fall into place is such a rewarding feeling. And thank you to everybody out there that has stuck along on this journey. And trust me, Chiefs Kingdom, we have a lot more Super Bowl trophies that have to get won. 
Thank you, everybody, for listening. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you guys like these videos and want to support me, go click the link in the description and go support me on my Patreon. I would more than appreciate it. Thank you to Michael Hebner for joining me in this episode. Thank you, everybody, for listening to the KC Sports Report by Michael Darcy.